What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. So we're going to be talking about the return to Haddonfield, the Halloween Kills featurette that came out a couple of days ago. The one last thing I believe, the one last major thing that we'll have before the movie finally comes out next Friday for a lot of you uh, to see it in theaters when it arrives. The stuff that I want to talk about as you saw in the thumbnail was one of the shots that was clearly not James U. Courtney is Michael Myers, some other guy. I can't think of his name right now. But the the way they had Michael Myers looking for the flashback, you, you know it's for the 1978 flashback that we know we're supposed to be getting. We're supposed to be getting several of them. We're going to be seeing Michael Myers getting caught. We're going to be seeing, I, from the final trailer, it looks like we're going to be seeing Michael Myers as a kid once again. We're also going to be seeing an interaction that Michael had with Lonnie. We're going to be having... A lot of flashbacks going on throughout this movie to catch us up on a lot of the characters that are coming back and just trying to move the narrative forward while also telling us, giving us a little bit more of an insight as to what went on after Michael Myers uh, got up from those six bullets after Dr. Loomis shot him, which I think is very fitting to do. And not in this movie, I feel like they should have done it in the last movie, honestly, but it's still nice they're doing it. So we need to talk about that Michael Myers image of him walking through i would say an alleyway of sorts it looks very much like the original film it looks very on par with the first two installments uh if it, like literally if you had to ask me what was the best recreation of that 1978 michael myers vibe they somehow have delivered it with this movie that's coming out in 2021 and it's very impressive to see the way everything is captured the way it's framed how everything is looking via like just the lighting where he's coming in and out of the light it's just those little things that completely would make someone that is a I would guess a mega fan when it comes to just the original movie that's going to be something that's going to excite those individuals I, I know that to be true just because of some of my uh, peers that I've talked to already who saw that they went crazy over it I myself of course watch all the Halloween movies I don't necessarily say I, well I do I have ones that I, that I prefer over others of course I, I enjoy all of the movies I would say I like them all I wouldn't say all of them are movies that should exist if i'm if i'm being honest <laughs> i think a lot of us would agree with that but the fact that we have something coming out this year 2021 that is matching almost perfectly what we got in the 1978 film and in the the uh classic sequel that we got halloween 2 that was just a beautiful thing to see he looks amazing michael myers looks amazing that's the shape that is evil on two legs as dr loomis likes to say and i just can't wait to see it i can't wait to see it we also got to see charles cyphers he delivered a line i guess that he's going to be also delivering in the movie that is just a reference to what he said in the first movie he's literally saying the same line everyone's entitled to one good scare we get to see kyle richards reminiscing on her time of filming the original halloween and how she didn't really know what she was doing because she was a she was a child at that point in time to now being here with jamie lee curtis they share a little sweet moment in the featurette and this movie just seems like it's going to be a very fun movie again my only complaint that i see coming out of it will be just the lack of character development it's i just something is telling me you know these characters they're not going to be fleshed out enough to the point where you're going to care that they're dying and, and what i mean again is going back to the fact that this is a sequel to the original film and now the 2018 film we haven't been with these characters since halloween 1978 some of them anyway most of the most of the now returning ones that are joining the joining the team that was not present for the 2018 film those returning characters we haven't seen since halloween 1978 lonnie himself wasn't even a major character in 1978 so whether or not you will make their deaths meaningful uh that is something that i will have to wait and see i just feel like the the deaths that are going to sting the most would be coming from our already established strode women who i don't really see dying other than maybe karen i don't see allison or Lori dying i just don't feel like with uh charles cypher's character coming back sheriff bracket uh i don't see if he dies uh, that being a death that hits home or hits hard i don't see Lindsay's death being hard hitting and if Tommy were to die, I don't see Tommy's death being hard hitting. And that's only because I have 
reservations about them giving you reason to be invested in these characters once again now as adults i'm not saying that it's not going to be a fun little movie to watch where we're catching up on all this nostalgia with these characters but in the end will they just seemingly be more to the body count or will their deaths mean something if it happens same thing for marion chambers uh i just don't see them giving us a substantial amount of time with them to necessarily care about their deaths if they happen then again the fact that jamie lee curtis isn't going to be the one like walking around town the most with them it's going to be us with this mob allison and karen for a lot of the film and i believe Lori will be spending a lot of it in the hospital so we'll see if that's a detriment to the film because just being honest the whole realistic vibe of this is that these people are going to be going around town they're not going to know a thing of they're not going to have any idea what they're doing they're letting their emotions get the better of them and they're reacting off pure emotion they don't seem like they're going to be having the best strategies a lot of stupid decisions will be made and they will die as a result so you know i i believe that's a reasonable thing to expect just because of how we see the way this kind of is mirroring what we some of the stuff that we have going on in the real world we'll have a group of people who are going out there they don't really know everything but they think they can take out michael myers they're probably they're going to do a lot of stupid stuff along the way and then they're going to end up before it's dying when of course a mob like that should not be getting taken out by this one man <laughs> if you had a good strategy of course but again this is michael myers movie he's not going to be taken out also we know that we have halloween ends coming up so that shot of michael myers for the 1978 flashback that we're going to be getting that was an amazing beautifully captured shot to see i'll leave a link to the feature right down in the description if you want to go ahead and watch that just the way they have been able to deliver the best recreation of that 1978 michael myers with this movie was just a breathtaking thing for me to witness it it's just a testament to how i feel they're taking this serious compared to some of the other halloween movies that we know we've gotten over the years like halloween resurrection <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and then there's a video in the description i will have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there is any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video